So in this video, I want to compare life with a real example cursor IDE, which is here on the left, with a cloud code, which I'll be using inside PyCharm here on the right. So that's PyCharm, that's cursor. Cursor, as you may know, uh, has AI embedded. So I can just open this AI pane here and pass a prompt. So we'll be using the same exact prompt in both cursor and cloud. The prompt will be a bit challenging, so it will tell uh, both AIs to create a simple AI system coach that advocates stoicism. So, so the chatbot should give therapy advice to the user based on stoicism philosophy. And we say add the web interface with Flask. So we're using Python here. And we are saying use Langchain version 1, which is still in alpha, so it's not yet well documented and used. So this will be a challenging point that we'll see how both AIs compare. And we'll use a Gemini 2.5 model. Let's do the same uh, for Cloud. So here is PyCharm and I can go to Terminal, type in Cloud. And so this is using the latest Sonnet 4.5 model. And I'll paste the same query. So let's run there, let's run there. And you see I have nothing in the, the directory just a virtual environment you see our cursor already uh, generated a requirements.txt file i think in my experience cursor is faster by the way i i'm paying 20 dollars for each of these per month now cloud is trying to generate an app.py file and i'll go to two and say yes hello all edits during this session so that will be more automatic instead of um, having to accept every change I don't recommend that if you if you want to know what is going on in your project. So I think the process should be a bit more manual. You should see what it's generating and then accept it. But for the sake of this video, I'm just accepting everything. So let's wait. Still uh, generating. A cursor is also asking me if I want to execute this. I'll say add CD uh, to a low list so that it executes the next commands as well next cd commands so i'm being pretty permissive there's a problem with cursor so it tries to uh, run the app but the command was not found now it's trying to fix it yeah now it fixed it right cloud code seems to have already coded the app coded the app and so did cursor now here I see the first difference. Cloud code is uh, is being very clear here how uh, to run the app. So it says we need to install dependencies with this command. We need to create an M fi file to store uh, the credentials such as the API key from Gemini and then run the app, right? So it's not running it yet. It's just telling us what to do very clearly. And cursor ID is already running the app. So I don't know how this will go, but let's try. So there it is. Um, so the web interface seems to be already built, but we have an error message here, which says, I'm experiencing some difficulty right now. Pre uh, invalid argument provided API key not valid. So that's pretty good. Um, it's pretty understandable that we need to take some action and provides an API key. So we go to uh, .env. There it is. It's pretty easy. I paste my API key. I'm going to delete it later. And let's say keep all. So here is the first problem that happened with cursor. So it, when it installed the libraries, it used the global Python um, interpreter. And that means uh, the a virtual environment I had here did not actually get all these packages installed. So I have to do that manually, pip install uh, requirements, and then try to run app.py. Yeah, let's visit this site. So there you go, it's working. Um, I'm feeling down today. Marcus is thinking, right? <laughs> Very creative. Uh, so Cursor has decided to call it Marcus like Marcus Aurelius. Good, so it's working fine. It seems like. I like bananas. Um, let's test uh, the memory if it 
keeps track of the conversation or not. Okay, what color are they? So I just, I'm just referencing two bananas now to see if it actually has track of, I sense the question perhaps lacks context to what they refer more well. So it seems like, <laughs> it seems like it doesn't have history because I asked what color are they for bananas and it just doesn't know or what color is the sky. Sky appears blue to our eyes. Can we eat it? So referring to the sky, it by this pronoun. Let's see. My friend before you see uh, pausing and the demon. Hmm, not so good. All right, that's quite serious. Let's go to clothes and see what we'll get here. Pip install requirements rights. I just I like this more to be more. Oh, pip. Sorry, I shouldn't have executed that there. <laughs> Um, we should go to open a new terminal. So pip install the requirements. And then next, next we should go to the end file and so I'll just rename this file and remove that example and just keep that env and paste my API key there. All we have to do now is run the app. So uh, let's go to the terminal tab, python app.py, execute. We have an error. I'm going to copy it. Give it to Cloud. So the issue is with um, Langchain version 1 alpha compatibility. Now, here is something that I noticed with a cursor. Um, if you look at requirements.txt, this is not actually version 1. So cursor didn't follow the instructions. Cloud also, it's not using Langchain version 1. So it's using uh, 0.328. So now Claude is saying that it fixed the problem. Let's run again then. So there it is. Uh, let's check it out. Stoic AI coach. If we compare it with the other one, I don't know which, which one looks better. I think this one from Claude. Right. Hi. Um, there was an error. So it's not working. I get an error. So what error are you getting? Uh, all right. Of course, now it needs some manual work to debug it. Now it's asking us if we want to allow it to run the app. So we allow it to try to debug it. So Cloud is now trying to run the app, see what's going on and so on. So cursor was faster. If you want speed, in my experience, cursor is faster. So it, Cloud is tr still trying to debug the problem. So it's saying that there is a compatibility issue with Langchain v1 alpha. So now it's telling us to install a new dependency. Let's do that. And yep. Yeah. Let's see again. Hi. Steam seems to be working now. Hello, it's good to hear from you. Just saying hi, it's perfectly fine. All right. I like bananas. So we're checking the history now. What color are they? Right, generally bananas are yellow when ripe. So, hmm, that seems to be working, actually. So that's the end of the battle, a cursor IDE versus cloud code. It's quite different experience between the two. Still, both couldn't work on using the latest version one of Langchain and Cloud even gave up on Langchain and, and it used Google Generative AI directly. <laughs> so, but both of them, they couldn't actually use Langchain one, they used uh, Langchain zero. So there you have it, you decide which one is better, uh, cursor ID or Cloud code. Thank you for following this.